Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. As you can see, I don't have anything on my lips today because we're going to do a little lip swatch of this little thing. Um, I got this from Sephora just on the aisle to like check out. I saw this one, I was like, ooh, they have all the famous nudes. I thought I would do a kind of a review on this one and just swatch all these on my lips so you can have an idea. So if you really like it, I think this is can be like a really good gift for yourself or for other people. It's really cute, like all the mini ones. This is worth of $70 uh, value, but then they sell this for $28. So I'm going to do this all on my lips. I don't have any of these lipsticks. I thought the Kat Von D one will be something I have, but I don't have that either. So I don't have any of these shades. This is Perfect. So we are going to dive right in. So this is the package packages to die for. And then when you open this up, they have all the little ones. So this is the full size. This is the chate. I don't know how to pronounce that, but I will leave every info here. It's in the shade bittersweet. I think this might be too dark for me, but we will see. So this is the only one that's full size. And then you have By Beauty, so small, and so cute. And this is in the shade Brochure. I will leave it right here so you can see for yourself. This is a multi-stick. Um, let's roll it up and see how much we have. So, so this is how much they have. I think this is pretty decent size and if you want to travel you really like this. I don't think you can finish all of this in just in one travel time. So I think this is a really decent amount. And look at how cute this is. And also look at this. This is a tart one. I saw a lot of people review this and they really like it. This is in the shade Rum Punch. And let's roll it up. It's not bad, right? It's a decent amount. I'm dying to try this one. So many people raving about this one. All right, so that's tart. And then we have a Boxum, the Boxum Dolly. This is kind of a, like a lip gloss. Oh yeah, so sugary. Like a ton, a ton of sugar. That's how that smells like. And this is like in the cute size too. Also, we have two more. Um, this is from Kat Von D. Ludwig, Ludwig, I will put it right here. Um, yeah, this is a cute size too. I don't have this one. I have the Lolita one, Lolita two. I have all those, but I don't have this. Uh, this might be good. All right. And last one, we have Makeup Forever. This is Artist Rouge Cream. So this is what, how much you have here. Really nice. All right, which one should we start? Let's try the tart one first. I'm the most excited about this one. Ooh, it's super creamy, but ooh, I don't think I like it. If you are much lighter skin tone than me, probably this will be like the best shade for you. But for me, it doesn't look good on me, right? Am I right? All right, so next one. Okay, so the second one I want to try is from Bite Beauty, this little one. And let's see, this is, seems darker. And I don't know how would that look on my lips. Let's just see. Oh yeah, this is a lot darker. Ooh, that, I think this is the good color for me. But I don't like about this, it's, it's round. See, the top is round, it's so hard to get it perfect. You might need a little brush to go with it, even though it's, it's small, but it's still round. It's too round to apply perfectly, so. Yeah, that's the only complaint I have, but the formula, the color, it's very good. Looks really good on my skin tone. Yeah, I like this one. This is a winner, but then you might have to use a brush. 
yeah, this is good. One, I think the third one, I want to try the Cavon D. This one, I don't think this will be too light for me, so I'm really excited and easier applicator here. In the tube, it seems a lot darker than on my lips, right? Um, yeah, this is just remind me of the first one I have tried. Um, just slightly lighter than my real lips, but it doesn't look... From far away, it looks really super natural, like your lips but better kind of a shade, which you can not really tell when you put this on. But this is like a perfect everyday shade, but I prefer just slightly slightly darker more nude but this works well too yeah i didn't know this will work on me but i kind of like it all right next one okay i forgot how hard it is to take off the Cavon d lipsticks i should have tried this one the last because so hard to take it off all right so let's try the next one i'm going to try the makeup forever a cream that this one okay so this is what this cream color looks like and this is how it looks like on my lips oh this is a very glamorous lipsticks um i don't normally wear this kind of i don't think it's nude wait this is called nude like famous nude but i do like the formula before i was like scrubbing my lips too hard i thought this one would be like cracking on my lips but no it's so moisturizing like my lips looks very conditioned uh it's not drying at all this is formula it's great it's the best formula so far all right, let's try the last two. I'm going to try with the um, Buxom first. Seems like this one can be long lasting, hard to remove. So I'm going to try this one first since this is really yummy taste. Okay, so this is a glossy look. Okay, so this is the glossy nude lip. This color is my favorite, and the finish, I like it too. But it's super sticky. Ooh, kind of minty, tingling, that feeling too. But this is super sticky. I just don't like my hair caught into my lipsticks or lip gloss. For that reason, I don't know if you, I will really enjoy this. The last one, the last one is the name I cannot pronounce, um, but the shade is in Bittersweet. This is kind of a darker shade. Let's try this. Yeah. I can tell already I don't like this shade. <laughs> this shade, I feel like when I put it on, I feel like I'm dead or too cold. This is how my lips will look like if I'm too cold, but I'm super hot right now. Yeah, so this is the last shade. The formula is still good. It's velvet, that's what it says, liquid velvet. Um, the feeling is good, but the color is not. Yeah, so this is not my shade. Right. So I have changed my lip color, I just, I, I cannot with that color. My lips right now, I'm using the Bite Beauty Lip Liner 022 Lip Liner and combined with the Buxom the lip gloss that we have tried before so this is the two combined so overall i don't think this is quite my shades like nude shades if you want to try that go for it it's in sephora i hope it didn't sell out yeah so that's all for today's video i hope you enjoyed it and i will see you guys in my next one bye